On the first day of riding, I left my Nashville hotel room early in the morning, and my route took me across the John Seikenthaler pedestrian bridge, which and then through uh, downtown Nashville. It was early in the morning, so it was very quiet in downtown, and then eventually I went up over Capitol Hill past the Tennessee State House. After several miles of urban riding, I wound up on pleasant neighborhood streets in the suburbs of Nashville. Those neighborhood streets eventually turned into suburban highways, and then eventually on rural highways. After several hours of riding, I made it to the famous Loveless Cafe, the cafe that's located at the north end of the Natchez Trace. Of course, this was Tuesday, and the cafe is closed on Tuesdays, so no biscuits for me. Just around the next curve was the sign saying that I made it to the Natchez Trace Parkway. And then I was on my way down the Natchez Trace towards Natchez, Mississippi. Well, good morning everyone. It's the morning of day two of my Natchez Trace ride. And um, yesterday I left Nashville and I rode 64 miles from near the uh, Nashville airport to here, which is milepost 408 on the Natchez Trace. It's a hiker-biker campground that the Natchez Trace um, provides every once in a while along the way. Um, really nothing to write home about. It's very primitive. No water, no restrooms, picnic tables that have been here for probably 40 years all falling apart. Um, and it's literally infested with mosquitoes. So I'm doing this video quickly so I can get out of here, get onto the trace and find a place to have breakfast somewhere else. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, early on day two, my GoPro battery unexpectedly went dead. So for the next two days, I've just got some still photos that I can describe my trip from. First is this sign that I came across at one of the rest stops that I stopped at, that um, letting people know that there's a lot of bicyclists on the Natchez Trace, and that's true. I'm doing this trip in October of 2021, and there were a lot of bicyclists on the trace. It was very good to see other bicyclists and talk with them and see all the drivers paying a lot of respect to us. Many people ask me why I chose to uh, ride the Natchez Trace, and uh, not only is it a beautiful road, but it's really all about the history. In my opinion, the Natchez Trace is probably the most important infrastructure project that the United States took on in the early 1800s. It is the infrastructure project that kept the country together from breaking up into different republics at a very vulnerable time in our history. 
and I'll, I'll describe that more as I go along the trip. I had breakfast at the, uh, on day two at the Gordon House. I, there were picnic tables there. The Gordon House is one of the historical features along the Natchez Trace. It's a, it's a stand, or what we would call today an inn or a hotel, that was located along the Natchez Trace. There are a lot of places along the trace where you can actually hike the old road or the old trace, the trail, whatever you want to call it. And this is a great section that was that I hiked on day two. Here I am at milepost 400. 400 more miles to Natchez, Mississippi. Yee-hoo! At the end of the day, I got to the Meriwether Lewis campground, set up my tent for the night, and had a great um, sleep at Meriwether Lewis. I will catch you up on the trip in the next video. Thanks. Bye.